Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my t Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 203 pounds. Love! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Super Bowl, Duho Choi. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful punch. Nice one-two there. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Uh. 
Just a slip there. Misses with the right hand. Big call for one win. Now we get back to range. Going orthodox now. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because if you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Another shot lands upstairs. Right punches there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, he's doing a nice job keeping the guard up, but that usually means the body is wide open, and his opponent wisely saw that and landed the straight hand to the body. Let's see if he shores some things up here defensively to prevent that fate moving forward. Just missed with the straight left hand. Leg the Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end thus far. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice kick there by Short. Tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his students certainly followed up on that appearance. So much volume, but the accuracy, the accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. And he switches his stance yet again. Big punch land. Right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You've got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, nice. See him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it. Unable to connect there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he missed with that right hand. this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove. No padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel. He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight. With that knowledge and that patience, shows his fight IQ. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Oh, blocks that kick to the body, nicely done. Finish, finish. 
changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Big kick lands. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice leg kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Oh, that is a nasty inside leg kick, DC. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue. Here's a tissue. Joy gets caught with that punch. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Back and forth we go. Joy's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head as he's still standing. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Joy gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, that's a good right hand. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Right hand upstairs. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. He loaded up that right hand, too. There's that kick. Straight left counter finds the target. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Oh, stiff jab in the face there, now doubles up on it. That was nothing. Nice strike. see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking clip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. He connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast, so crisp. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Trying to kick the leg out. Good punch land. <laughs> All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight.
He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. You see if he can keep it going. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, oh! Straight right. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice, sneaky head kick. Oh, nice right hand, John. Watch the shot. Real quick leg kick. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa. How he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Plus, right hand is true. He slips the shot. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I, I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Big head kick lands. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Good one. Oh, man. And he landed the right hand there. attack here tonight and again making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. He missed with that jab attempt there. Punch is blocked. Good stick. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and the best fighters in the world are those who make adjustments. He hasn't made many so far. Yes, he needs to make adjustments. So, one thing you can do is close the distance. Don't give him space to leg kick you over and over again. Get close, fight from the clinch. Take that leg kick away by managing the distance. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Straight punch lands. Oh, misses with the jet. Big leg kick lands. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Oh! Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, straight right. Powerful leg kick land. He blocks the punch. 
Looping left hand misses the target. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights. That flying knee, so perfect. Kind of makes me want to try one in the dressing room after the fight. No, John. Uh -huh. John, John, listen. No, John. Uh -huh. No. Don't throw a flying knee. Okay. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh. Oh, what a job to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. You get not recognize he was high, and now he's got hurt bad. And now he engages in a boy tie clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh, straight right. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Beautiful strike. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. All right, single collar tie now. You got to check these low leg kicks. Under three minutes remain in round four. Nice left hand there on the inside. She lands another punch to the head. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice head kick. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Connects with the right. He left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's ring. Oh, gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Cable inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> Look at Ryan there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what Grab a wrestling. He's a, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary. Fight. 
Choi's looking to pass in the half guard here, but he's denied. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, and he's back up again. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Choi. Not there. His misses are entertaining. So that's the end of the round, that cut on the nose, manageable earlier, not so much right now. Really, really bad, the blood flow continuing to become a factor, and you gotta think at some point if it gets any worse, they will have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him, we'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is gonna have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, big left hook there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Nice defense there, huge block. What a punch. Ooh, what a head kick. Way to hide that leg kick. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. You can't take many of those. You better check. Switching stances here. Under three minutes to decide this one. Oh! Oh, we got a bad! All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable for hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Huge block there.
his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's going to start this contest at three minutes, 21 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Hugh Chong. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.